Hi everyone, it's Jeannie with Creations by Jeannie and today we're going to make this cute little box here. <clears throat> Man, it took some time. <laughs> this is about the third or fourth one and I still messed up on this particular box. I will go ahead and show you all that. If you see, the lid needed to be the same length as the sides because when it's not, it smushes down too far. So we're hoping now, because I did not retest this, that this one's going to work out. This paper is cut to, let me get my little cheat sheet out. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, I did not <laughs> write down. I have a measure here, I guess, instead of my ruler. Ten and a half. Why well, couldn't I remember that? Ten and a half by eight and a half. So we just have to take a little bit off the end, a half an inch. All right, we're going to bring the score tool in. We are going to score this. Hopefully, I can see that. We're going to score at two and one eighth on the long side. Okay, two and one eighth by four and one quarter by six and three eighths. And then at eight and a half. Okay, now we're going to turn it either direction. It does not matter for these. We're going to score at one and an eighth. I jumped a little bit there. And then six and three eighths. Okay, now this is where the fun begins because I <laughs> had some issues yesterday. When I also did, this is the second video today, or yes, my second video to film today, the second video from yesterday that I've had to reshoot all over again. So hopefully this will work. I, my light has shifted and I'm getting shadows now. Okay, for this we're going to have to cut a few things off. We're going to start with this end where the ten and a half. We're going to cut these two squares completely off. And we're also going to take the next one. I probably should have folded all my score lines first. That does tend to make it a little easier when you're trying to cut. this again because we want to keep this pretty close to the edge because this is going to be the top of the box. So you want it nice and straight and I can already tell that I'm not doing a great job here but hopefully I'm doing good enough that you can tell what I'm doing okay now we're going to go ahead and cut the other two straight up to the first score line that you come to
Okay, then we're going to go ahead and we're going to notch on all sides. Okay, now to show y'all this, we're going to fold this box up. So we don't need to put sticky glue on these first two here. They're going to have glue. And probably, again, you'd probably want to use I keep calling the sticky tape. This is snail. You probably want to use sticky tape or fast fuse. Um, I use the two-way glue gun a lot. Or two-way glue gun. Yeah, two-way glue. I'm telling you, sometimes I'm nuts. Okay, this first one is going to go and this outer one is going to come up And I probably shouldn't have cut those people, but that's all right. It's going to be close. Now we're going to put some snell on this last one on the inside. The other was on the outside. This is on the inside. Can you tell I'm just winging this? <laughs> okay. Like I said, I should not have cut the tabs. These were supposed to be straight across right here. So in the, I will try to make a note to let you know that do not notch this top one. The bottom two were okay to notch, but not the top one. Okay, now we have that done. And again, the same as last time, I always skip a step. I should have had y'all adhere these pieces first before we folded. But I don't always remember. Uh, my brain jumps ahead too quick because I get too excited. Too excited. Okay. Um, there are three of the bottom mats, and they are cut at one and seven eighth by four inches. Then there's two of the side pieces. These are cut at one and seven eighth by one and seven eighth. And then the little pieces that go over the top, our next mat layer. These are cut at one and five eighths by one and five eighths, and these are one and five eighths by three and three fourths. So let's go ahead and get all of these glued down. Now, if you see, the flowers are going sideways, so I then recut so that they went that way. But, since this is a redo video, and like I said, you know, I never make anything perfect, we're going to put them on sideways. And it's, it's not bad. It's just however you want. We've got one goes on the top. And then we have one on the front side, and then you have one on the back side. And 
and you have two on each of the ends. Now these, the flowers do face the right way and that will cover up the mistake that I made a tiny bit, but not much. We're going to take a corner rounder. This is the older one. Um, I, sad to say, I don't own the newer one. I actually had just purchased this one when it went out. <laughs> and they got the new one in, which belongs with the uh, Project Life, I do believe. All right. Okay. If you can see, I corrected the box here so it does not collapse inward like this one did because I cut it too short. If you have a corner rounder, you can round the corners. Now we're just going to put some decoration on top. Tie a bow. Tie a yellow ribbon round the old oak tree. Okay. Not a singer. Uh, Alright. Uh, glue dot. I always end up packing everything away and then I forget. Duh! I might need that on the next project. Okay. And I just have them suckers going every which way on here. That's quite alright. We're going to put this just kind of off to the side a little. We're going to add some bling in the center. And then if you want to stamp an ad, I took Daffodil Delight and this is also a retired punch. This was from last year's Um, celebrations. I'll get it out in a sec. I'm holding the stamp down for a little bit so we can get a more vivid color, which turned out pretty good. I'm just going to put this a little sideways on there so both colors show through. Let's add one more on the back. Um, you know what? We're not going to, excuse me, we're not going to put the dimension on the back of that. We're just going to add some snow. Right up under the bow. And let's Off. And there you go. We have two boxes that were made. Again, I messed up on both, but you get the general idea. And hey, I'm just having fun. I mean, you know, like I said, I'm not perfect. <laughs> and these come from a crazy mind trying out crazy ideas. And if you look at this box, you can tell that this outer piece, not the mat, but the uh, Blackberry Bliss, was squared. I don't know what possessed me to tell y'all to cut that one. So that will be corrected in my notes. But there's our two boxes, and I hope you enjoyed it, and have a great day.